right, guys. I just wanted to do a quick video today. Lola, come here. Hey, Lola, come here, Lola. Give you a little insight to the life here in China for us foreigners uh, with the coronavirus. So, as everyone knows, coronavirus is a big thing here in China. Uh, I live in a city called Baoding, and our city so far has been controlled pretty heavily. I'll put it that way. Uh, Beijing is a little bit more free. Uh, right now, most stores are closed. So, I should probably show you guys if you look in the distance. There's stores there. All these stores are closed. Uh, we have here a couple restaurants. This restaurant here, restaurant here, all closed. Uh, any dentist, closed. Anything that is, not, any store that's not essential has been closed. They've all been giving orders to deceased businesses. Some people were a little hesitant to try to keep their livelihood, but unfortunately any person who dis disobey the government, the police come and shut them down. Peacefully, usually peacefully, but sometimes it has been forced by force. So as you can see, all these stores have been closed down. This person said they're gonna open 211. It's 211 today, still not open. Uh, most of us were told that this would last until 210, Monday, right? Today, uh, yesterday's date, here in China at least. And yet, no stores have opened. I have some, seen some people disobey the law, open, the police come, shut them down by force, give them a big fine. Some people try to fight the police and get arrested. Lola, come on. So for the most part, the city's pretty quiet. Uh, and if you see some of my other videos, when I'm traveling with Lola in the streets, you'll notice that it's really lively. Yeah, there's some cars driving, but mostly cars. People are scared of taking taxis. The public transportation systems are shut down, so you see no buses coming around. Also, we tend to have areas like this. So, Lola, come here. This area has been quarantined. No one is allowed to enter, no one's allowed to leave. The government is doing everything in their everything in their power to reduce exposure to this to this virus. And where every quarantine spot, security guard to make sure that the Chinese people obey. So as you can see, Mostly, mostly closed. The dentist closed. We have here a hair salon closed. A looks like a child. Hmm, let me see. Mm, oh, well, this is where you buy things for your children, like milk, powder. Here is a noodle place closed. Uh, we have the pharmacy that's open. So luckily, the pharmacy open. Hair salon closed. Uh, this is a massage parlor. They put masks on you. This clothes. Uh, this is a dry cleaners. This is closed. This is a fruit store. Closed. Uh, so only here is a fruit store here, and then we have here a little, I guess we just say a convenience store, where they are selling all supplies. What you got? As you can tell, everyone is wearing a mask. So, it's not like the people are going hungry either. The Chinese people are being well fed, but they just can't go to restaurants. So, the supplies are here. Um, I did hear one story of one supermarket raising the prices, and the people were going crazy. Uh, it was like ten dollars, ten dollars for ten dollars for a thing of lettuce, and they're raising hell. So the they called the police. The police came by and shut them all down. So every time this is my neighborhood, and when I enter the neighborhood, I have to get my my temperature checked and then tell them it's right down where I went today. 
，来哥哥。好吗？多少？三十五点六。Thirty five point six. Thirty five point six Celsius. Everything here is in Celsius. So I'm not sick. So as long as you're not reaching forty, you'd be okay. When you, if you do reach forty, you'll most likely have someone come check you, uh, and you might even be taken away. Most people right now are are so. Like they're in panic mode, so everyone's just being taken. So if you're sick, regardless if you have a regular flu, everyone at this point thinks you have the coronavirus. So basically, you gotta take care of yourselves, wear the mask, wash your hands, make sure that if you cough, you don't do it in public because people are freaking out. One cough and then everyone looks at you and stares at you. What's up, Lola? So the question is, are we safe here? In my personal opinion, I'm safe. I feel completely safe here. The Bali government has gone above and beyond to make sure that they've contained this pandemic. People aren't allowed to leave. You're allowed to leave every 48 hours to go get, every 48 hours. So every other day, one of your family members can go and buy, buy supplies for the house. So every other day. You're not allowed to meet in big group settings. Uh, most of the malls were closed. Uh, the big mall here is closed, but Walmart's open. So the supermarket's open from eight to 10. And yeah, everything else, basically everything else that's not a supermarket is closed or a pharmacy is closed. The hospital's obviously open. Uh, in Balding, my city, 28 people. Today is the February 11th. So 28 people have been, Lola. 28 people have been infected with the virus and eight of them have been recovered. So uh, one, has died and the person who died was an elderly man so he had cancer so he had he had medical issues prior to getting the virus so basically the virus just destroyed the rest of his immune system or the lack of immune system was the reason why he died from what they're saying i right now the reports are scarce the media no one's been really saying anything lola come here lola's trying to play as far as living here so it's pretty freaking boring, I'll tell you that. Uh, I'm no, I'm not long, I'm no longer working. We were sending videos to the kids, so I take maybe 30 minutes out of my day, send videos to all the kids, and just give them something to learn, some English to learn while, while we're stuck here at home and while they're stuck at home. So I'm sure, pretty bored. Uh, we're finding things to do, mostly video games. So I play PlayStation a lot. Uh, go out walking with Lola play badminton and play ping pong. We have ping pong tables here. Just trying to keep busy. The only thing we can do, and hopefully this pandemic gets under control. There's a cure soon, and then we all go back to our regular lives. But the most important thing is that we're safe. The government is taking the proper procedures to keep the people safe, and at the end of the day, that's what it means. And obviously, the economy is suffering for it. So they value their people, and they're sacrificing their economy to make sure that the people are safe. And what else can you ask from a government? All right, Lola. All right, we out. Lola, come here. Say bye. Say bye to the people. Come here. Say bye. Say subscribe. Say like the video and subscribe. Can you say that? No, you suck.